Hey Royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis, but before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you for your enormous love and support. Thank you for everything. In case you haven't yet subscribed yet, guys, I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to go ahead and press that bell icon. So, Prince Harry was informed Meghan would not be welcome at Balmoral by his father, King Charles III, as the royal family gathered to be with the Queen in her final hours, sources claim. Harry was the last to arrive at Balmoral Castle on Thursday and the first to depart on Friday. In happier times, Harry and his grandmother enjoyed a close, playful rapport. Glimpsed by the wider public in 2016 when they appeared together in a comic video reacting to a mic drop taunt from Barack Obama and Michelle Obama ahead of the Invictus Games, a competition for disabled veterans which Harry has promoted. But it was pure coincidence that Harry was in Britain when Elizabeth died, and prior to her demise there were no plans announced for him to see his family during his visit from the United States where he lives with his family. Only Charles and Anne were able to see the Queen before she died, as they were ready in Scotland with her health deteriorating. It is understood that this was after an intervention from Charles with a phone call made when Harry was still at Windsor. A source told The Sun, Charles told Harry that it wasn't right or appropriate for Meghan to be in Balmoral at such a deeply sad time. It was pointed out to him that Kate was not going and that the numbers really should be limited to the very closest family. Charles made it very, very clear Meghan would not be welcome. Prince Harry returned to Windsor the next day and was seen arriving at Frogmore Cottage to reunite with his wife, with the grief and sadness evident on his face. Moreover, Prince Harry was reportedly refused a seat on the RAF plane, Royal Air Force that took other royals to Balmoral. There were seven passengers on board, William, Andrew, Edward, and his wife Sophie, plus three aides, the son reported. That would leave 12 empty seats on the Salt Falcon jet, and it is understood the royals had all traveled from their homes near Windsor Castle and would have passed closest to Frogmore Cottage. Harry and Meghan reside in California, U.S. after stepping down from working members of the royal family. They caused a stir in 2020 when in an interview Oprah they had accused members of the firm of racism. Pat Miller, a Birmingham resident, had been inside the city's St. Philip's Cathedral to light a candle in memory of the Queen. She said, I'm so sad that she didn't see Meghan and Harry and the two children. That's my upset. She had a wonderful life, a good age, and sad the way it ended. It was a big shock to me. Wow. So guys, what do you think about all this news? Do you think Meghan should also be banned in the Queen's upcoming funeral? Write it down in the comments section and let me know what you think. So until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Roll updates, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.